Hello and welcome to VadersNewEmpire.com or my YouTube channel, Vader's New Empire. Uh, tonight I am going to be building the real-time build for 8096 Emperor Palpatine shuttle, as seen in Revenge of the Sith, when uh, at the towards the end of the movie when Darth Vader and Ben Kenobi got in a fight, and the Emperor comes and uh, picks up. Anakin Skywalker and transforms him into Darth Vader, which is uh, one of my favorite scenes of all six movies. Uh, it's a it's a relatively uh, nice piece. It it looks pretty much like it does in the movie. The wings fold up. It's very functional. The top comes off it. There's two books to this. Uh, it's not too complicated of a model to build. The only parts that are a little bit tricky would be where the wings fold up, but there's no gears that roll it up, and not like on the Imperial Shuttle, which uh, one of my other real-time builds, which will be on my Vader's New Empire uh, YouTube channel. Somewhere down the road, I'll have that. Uh, I've got another YouTube channel right now. It's not for Vader's New Empire. Uh, this is before I started doing real-time builds. This is my very first start of trying them. But, uh, yeah, so tonight is going to be the 8096 Star Wars Lego model and Per Palpatine shuttle. Uh, normally I talk about these sets and build along with it when I'm talking about it. You can see, as I zoom out, I have quite a few pieces here on my desk. I'll go ahead and pan around so you can see all the parts and pieces. Uh, yeah, that is the Millennium Falcon right there. I do have a snow speeder right there. A little miniature one. The 75049, the newer one. And the uh, Millennium Falcon there is the mini Millennium Falcon model 7778. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I've got so many Legos scattered all over my place here. I, that was the only place I could put them. Um, but I want to get right on down to this build. Normally I talk during the builds and and explain a little bit about what I'm doing and what I got featured on my site and all that kind of thing. Hopefully the lighting is pretty good on my site on my uh, video here. Uh, I've got a new setup on my back porch here, uh, and my desk is different. The lighting is different. Um, I'm shooting this at. <laughs> one o'clock in the morning. I do most of my videos late at night just because uh, that way I don't get any interruptions. The dog's not parking. Uh, I don't have a lot of noise around. There's there's all kinds of noise. I do build these on the back porch. but uh, And I don't include any minifigs in when I build these sets. Uh, the set did come with four bags. Uh, there are a couple minifigs here. There's the Burned up Vader, there's the medical droid, Emperor Palpatine after he got transformed, and uh, a shuttle pilot. Uh, but other than that, it's fairly easy to build. It's it's not really that complicated. I'm gonna go ahead and get right on to it, and I'm gonna zoom in here so everybody can see what I'm doing. I have a little box here. I'll be going back to every once in a while. The little tiny pieces here that. I just didn't have room for on my desk. Uh, the set is a two-part set, so there's quite a few pieces in it. And hopefully uh, I don't have a cat or a raccoon sneak up behind me. <laughs> I have a raccoon that frequents the back porch now. And uh, if it pops up into the, into the video, I, I might scream like a little girl. You never know. Uh, <laughs> but nonetheless, I might as well just get on to it and uh, tell you about some of the new exciting things happening on my website. Um, I have a, a new, in case you haven't been there or in case you're watching this from YouTube, my VadersNewEmpire.com site now has a new section on it. It's uh, instruction books. So you can uh, go on my site and uh, if you're there already and look up uh, anything I got. Um, all the sets I have in my in my uh, my 
blog there, I will actually have the PDF files and the you know for the instructions, and you can download those, or, or you can um, just check them out for yourself. But uh, anything you see me build on my site, you can uh, find the instruction books for. Um, I do have a new minifig section that I'm I'm actually currently working on. I have not put it out there yet for everybody to view. That's coming down the road. Um, it's just me doing this by myself. I don't have anybody helping me, so you know it, it takes time to do these things. But uh, I do uh, live in. <laughs> Central Florida and the mosquitoes are out tonight. It's about 80 degrees out here tonight. Got me the bugs spray on. <laughs> it's kind of strange. It's uh, just after the first of the new year, and I've got mosquitoes swarming me out here. So uh, if you see me get carried away by mosquitoes, that's that's not too unlikely. There are quite a few of them out here. I'm going to try not to talk so much on these videos because I've been talking to a lot of people today a lot of webinars and things of the such and so uh, I talked a lot and my voice is going kind of scratchy on me but uh, let me get right on to it hmm. you know, I pulled this piece out earlier now I can't find it oh there it is way over there okay so I get some room going on this table. I'm going to have to be uh, doing my magic over here. It's kind of kind of cramped quarters. I did, if you have ever seen any of my previous videos, uh, my table was notorious for Legos rolling right off it because it wasn't level. I've leveled my table. So now nothing rolls off. But I do these real-time builds as a way of showing people exactly what it takes, how long it takes, you know, to do sets like this. Uh, this set, I'm going to try to do pretty quick. Uh, in the past, if you've watched any of my other videos, um, I do talk a lot. Sometimes I tend to repeat myself, so I apologize firsthand if you uh, hear me repeat myself. Or if you hear me clap my hands, that's me uh, kicking the mosquitoes away. I'm going to have to grab some bug spray here soon. <laughs> mosquitoes here in Florida, I think they're uh, kind of used to the bug spray, so they don't really mind too much. I do, though. And I'm going to try to build this in camera so you can see it. Um, I got my computer. I rearranged my desk. So uh, now I have a hard time seeing my computer where I'm at, um, only because I had to rearrange it just to allow for some room here on the back. Uh, with this blog of mine, I'm putting more Legos together than you can imagine, and there's not that much room here on the back porch, so I had to make a lot of room for the new sets that I got. Well, they're not new sets, but newer to the blog. I've reviewed a lot of sets. I've reviewed over 20 sets so far on my site. Uh, and uh, I've only got nine, nine real-time builds so far on my site. Um, and I, I have so many more in the works. Uh, my next current project is General Grievous, which... Uh, I think is model 10186. I don't have it right in front of me. I, don't quote me on that number. But uh, he stands about 18 inches tall. A very flimsy model, but very fun to build. Challenging. A lot of little parts. Uh, it takes quite a bit of time to build him. Just because of all the little tiny parts. And if you mess up one, just little, one little part, then... Uh, you have to go back and take apart a lot of it just to get it right. All right, you can see this is going together fairly quick. This is just the command module. And 
like I said, this this set is is fairly easy to build. I do not know the age grouping on this, but I don't check those because I don't feel Lego has an age. I, and they post that they have an age for age group or what they think can put these together, but I've seen some uh, little kids on other videos put together these without a problem. It's just basically follow the directions, you know. If you can follow directions, you can put these sets together. No matter what age they say, you know, for the set. So there we go. That's going together fairly quick. With the two books and uh, all the pieces they got in this set, I'm trying fairly quickly to put together. And I got everything laid out pretty well. When I do these videos, I, uh, I, I put my Legos together like this. Um, it just helps me grab them. They're easy to grab, you know. Um, of course, the loose ones and stuff I can't do that with, but you know, I, if it's if they're all the same, I'll just stick a corner together. It's so much easier just to take it apart. It makes for quick building. Um, that and I try to put everything in a different order in here on the table so I can get to it quick. All my flat pieces on one side, this or that on another odd pieces here, odd pieces there. But when I panned out, you can probably see how I got laid out. Um, not too complicated. Just helps me uh, keep better organized and get to the pieces quicker. I hope I just don't knock over this box trying to grab a piece or a cat jumps up on the table and knocks everything off, which, which has happened before in one of my videos. Uh, Jedi Starfighter with the Hyperdrive Booster Ring, model 7661, I believe it is. Really neat model. Um, I have a lot of fun building that. Alright, let's see. On with the show, as I say. Hopefully, everybody can see what I'm doing. Uh, go figure. I'm losing parts again. There we go. Uh, I have been asked why I don't put sound with my videos, uh, like music. It it comes down to this. I would love to put the Star Wars music theme song or whatever, uh, the soundtracks to the movies or whatever I can get. But um, the fact is, soundtracks for that are very expensive. Um, to, just to buy the rights to the music it, it costs a lot of money I can get uh, like a dubstep type music but I'm just not into that kind of music and that that'd be more for like if you saw a stop motion build unfortunately I don't have the camera uh, that's necessary to build that way um, that is a very costly camera uh, and I, not only the camera but the program itself to run fast stop motion like that maybe one day though I keep saying one day I'll, I'll have something like that so bear with me there are a few of you that watch these videos I've had hundreds of people watch these videos uh, and believe it or not for quite a few of them, uh, the videos that take over an hour to build and over an hour to shoot I've actually had people stick almost all the way through the video which is uh, pretty surprising I didn't think anybody would do that but I do want to thank everybody that does sit around and watch them uh, it's I, I have no knowledge of what age group people are watching my videos I uh, couldn't really tell you some of the analytic programs I have um, just tell me what country they're from um, I have a lot of people from all around, all around the globe watch these things. Uh, from the United States all the way to Germany, China, um, just you name it, they're, they're they're watching these videos from everywhere. Which uh, I want to thank everybody for watching. It's uh, it, it's an honor to uh, know that people are actually watching my videos. 
by all means, tell other people about them. Uh, the more people I have sign into my site, the better. Oh, I'm about to skip over a part here. I do that time to time. You know, I'll be talking too much, you know, skip a step. and I've been putting these sets together for a long time. So I kind of think I got it all. I, I pretty much scan over things and make sure I got the end result pretty good. And this is one of the side pieces. Uh, uh oh. I see pieces missing already. I don't didn't know I had pieces missing. Well, I just found out I do. I have four pieces missing. I didn't realize I had four pieces missing. Actually I have these these two pieces missing. Uh let's see. I don't even know where I would find them. I had everything all in one section. <laughs> These are very embarrassing folks. I'll tell you what, you get the point of what goes there. Um, what I'll do is after I stop this video, because I'm, I'm going to try to run these for about half hour each, and then I'm going to start a new one. Just, just to keep people from doing the yawn thing and walking away too quick. I thought I had all the pieces. I do apologize for that. Um, but it's easy to put on. Once I get those pieces, this just goes on just like this. If I can get that on. With those pieces missing, it's kind of not altogether too rigid, but then you get the point how it goes. There's one side. Boy, that's really a... Hmm. It's kind of odd because I took this set apart before I uh, put it all together. <laughs> and I don't know where those pieces went. That's really odd. Oh well. Nonetheless, I will find them and uh, when the next video comes out, you'll see you'll see the pieces on there. But uh, the other side is the same thing. Hmm. That's really embarrassing, you know. You see, it, it takes a long time to set this up and get this all right. And uh, normally, I make sure I get all the pieces. I have had numerous sets, so uh, where I thought I had all the pieces, uh, and I just I didn't, and I had to search for them through the video while I was filming it. Really unprofessional, but it just goes to show you things happen. Um, it's just part of life, you know. And I've got so many Legos, and it's just, it's it's hard to make sure you got every little thing. Normally I go through the set, and I'll go through the instructions on the back book, and check off what I got, and check off what I don't have, and I'll steal from other sets, because sometimes Legos break. I mean, they just do, and some of them are so darn expensive to get separate, and you have to send away from them, and all kinds of things. Fortunately, I live an hour away from Disney, and I can go to a Lego store, but they don't have specialty pieces. They have blocks, and they have tires, and, they, you know, the things that when the kids come in off from the crowds, they can come in and put pieces together and build things, and they have all kinds of neat contests out there and all kinds of stuff. But uh, they don't have a lot of specialty pieces, so these are things you have to send away for. Yeah, I'm looking through my little box here. Um, you know, some of these pieces are so darn small. Sometimes they're hard to find. Yeah, I still have a squeaky chair just in case. Uh, anybody who's watched these videos in the past knows my chair was squeaks. And I didn't realize it was squeaking tonight. Don't notice these things until I start hitting the record button, you know. That's another thing I'm, I might try to fix before the next video. Unfortunately, the spray I use is really smelly, and I really don't want all that all over my hands. Works really good, though. For any adults out there, it is the PV, PV Blaster. 
which is, I think, some of the best oil on the market to free up squeaky loose part or sticky, rusty parts. And it's other than that. Okay. Sorry if I'm reaching into view here. But everybody can see what I'm doing, which is a good thing. Normally, I, normally I tend to, s I don't know what it is. I'll slide away from the view, and I've had quite a few people see say to me that uh, I need to watch out for not building on camera. And I slide the set away, and they can't see exactly what I'm building. And I'm trying to keep from doing that, and I'm trying to keep my hands out of the way. Ooh, fingernails are a little bit dirty. I've been working on the back porch as well try to keep my fingernails clean and my fingers clean just when I do these videos that way you're not staring at my dirty fingernails but you know when you work with your hands you're gonna get dirty and being out here on the back porch it, it gets a little dirty from time to time alright let me see if I got that right I don't want to get that wrong Oh yeah, I got it wrong already. Just because I wasn't paying attention. Let me get my hand out of the way so you can see what I did. That goes there. And of course the two pieces I'm missing. I knew that was coming, but that's not a problem. We can make it work without them. Like I said, I'll have them on there when I shoot the next video. But you can see it's coming together pretty well. Uh, Nice and compact, nice and sturdy. Canopy goes up. It's got a single seat in there. All right, and there it is. There's, there's the canopy part. And next is the uh, actual body of it. So this is going fairly quick. I'm gonna stop the video here, on the second page here. Right, let me zoom out a little bit so everybody can see where I'm at. This is the part where the second bag comes into play. Um, but you can see there's, there's quite a bit of Legos out here on my table. Um, if I zoom up, let me see if I can zoom up here. There's the Millennium Falcon. And, well, you can see this far. But my Legos actually extend another foot to the right. And there's quite a bit of them there. So we got quite a bit to go on this set. But, uh, Thanks for uh, stopping by and watching the first part of this video. Let me get it centered back up here. <laughs> it's hard to tell where this camera was, you know. And let me snap it back into place. Yeah, sorry. All right, well, other than that, this has been uh, the first part of Emperor Palpatine's shuttle, Star Wars Lego Emperor. Palpatine Shuttle model number 8096 and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for stopping by VadersNewEmpire.com or Vader's New Empire YouTube channel and come on back for the second video and, and we'll get this done real quick. Alright, have a good day.